John Laurinaitis gave CM Punk the opportunity he was waiting for. CM Punk will face Alberto Del Rio for the WWE Championship if CM Punk can defeat Mark Henry. If Punk can land the elbow here, Jerry, this could be over. Punk, elbow to the heart. And there's the WWE Champion Alberto Del Rio, his personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. But he sent Rodriguez to the ring, and Rodriguez is pummeling away on Mark Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match as a result of a disqualification, Mark Ball is for the WWE Championship. Please welcome at this time, Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, aquí en esta noche en Nueva York, les presento al hombre que ganará su título otra vez, al orgullo de México, el patrón, él es Alberto Alberto Del Rio does some serious damage to CM Punk here tonight, so CM Punk can understand what it's like to be in pain. Oh, will you quit being a crybaby, Cole? Ladies and gentlemen, per the request of the challenger, I would like to introduce CM Punk's personal ring announcer, WWE Hall of Famer, Howard Finkel. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, CM Punk. Nearly 17,000 strong here in the Big Apple. On their feet for the number one contender, CM Punk. And any way you look at it, Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk is going to be a hell of a matchup here tonight at Survivor Series. of the WWE Championship. The title has changed hands here in New York on 15 occasions. More than any other place in the entire world will it happen tonight. And CM Punk is finally getting his rematch after Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Alberto Del Rio has had a magical year. He began the year off by winning the largest Royal Rumble in history. He also won the Money in the Bank ladder match and then cashed it in at SummerSlam to win the WWE title. Oh, wait a minute. You know you have to keep an eye on Ricardo Rodriguez because throughout this entire magical year that you speak of, Rodriguez has been there creating shortcuts for Del Rio. And I don't think that's befitting of a champion. You know, CM Punk enters this match a four-time world champion and a two-time Money in the Bank winner. In fact, he's the only man to win it two years in a row. You know, not to brag or anything, Cole, but I have quite an impressive Survivor Series history myself. I wouldn't call teaming with Sleazy, Queasy, and Cheesy to be doink, dink, pink, and wink. Impressive, King. Hey, wait a minute, Michael. That dink was a lot tougher than he looked. Plus, a win's a win. So then I should bring up 95 and 96, right? Uh, no. CM Punk says he's going to make the WWE Championship interesting again. What I don't like about CM Punk is the way that he coerced Alberto Del Rio into putting the championship on the line here tonight. Big Show had knocked out Del Rio. Then Punk put on the Anaconda Vice and made Del Rio agree to this match. Well, remember, Punk never received a one-on-one -on -one rematch after Del Rio successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. He saw that one coming, and he dodges that one. CM 
CM Punk gathering attention in a hurry. The first time this great arena hosted Survivor Series was back in 1996. Man, unfortunately, I remember that well. I teamed with a young Triple H, Goldust, and Crush to take on The Rock, Jake Roberts, Mark Merrill, and The Stalker. Let's just say it didn't go so well. The Stalker? Yeah, was that you in disguise? King, you may not remember the 1996 Survivor Series fondly, but I assure you the WWE Universe does. Among the highlights were Undertaker defeating Mankind. Red Hart defeating Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Psycho Sid winning the WWE title from Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Sid's victory over Michaels was one of the 15 times WWE Championship changed hands in this very arena. That's more than any other arena in the entire world. WrestleMania opponents will team up when The Rock partners with John Cena to battle R-Truth and The Miz. I have a hard time believing, King, The Rock and John Cena will be able to coexist here tonight. Well, I gotta agree, The Rock and John Cena certainly are an unlikely team, but it's not necessarily uncommon to see the great one, Shelby, CM Punk. What a maneuver! You know, King, I'm thinking about filing a criminal and civil lawsuit against CM what? Punk after he injured me this past week on Raw. <laughs> oh, that's great. How does that Anaconda Vice feel anyway? It's Punk, Punk, Punk with Del Rio up high, going for the GTS. Oh, but look at Del Rio. He's under going for that cross arm breaker. And whoo, watch that roundhouse. Yeah, but look at Del Rio. Del Rio goes into the arm breaker. Arm breaker. Devastating maneuver here. Will he tap out with a cross arm breaker? Is there any counter at all with this move? Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hole? You know, I've been watching Alberto Del Rio since he arrived here in the WWE, and he's always working the little things, something his opponent never sees coming. That's what's unique about Alberto Del Rio. What's going to be interesting is that you would have to assume the strategy for both men in this matchup is to work the arms of the other. For Del Rio, it's the cross arm breaker, and of course for Punk, the Anaconda Vice. And you would have to think that both of these guys are under a lot of pressure. It doesn't get any bigger than competing in the Big Apple. The past couple of weeks, Alberto Del Rio has assaulted CM Punk back in the locker room area as he's tried to gain every advantage here tonight. You know, I don't necessarily agree with Del Rio's approach, but I do understand it. When you're champ, you don't want to lose the title. Once you get that feeling, it stays with you forever. Del Rio, a two-time WWE Champion, certainly knows what it means to be WWE Champion. His second reign started back at Hell in a Cell when he turned back then-champ John Cena and CM Punk. King John Cena has been named Superstar of the Year at the Slammies the past two years. Yeah, but you'd have to think whichever superstar wins this match here tonight will be the odds-on favorite to win this year's Superstar of the Year when the Slammies are held next month. You know, King, speaking of the Slammies, I'm no stranger to that award. I've a few proudly displayed on my mantle at home. Well, unfortunately, I also won a few Slammies in 1996, and they weren't necessarily career highlights, concerning what I won them for. And let's just leave it at that, Cole. It's so hard to game plan for CM Punk, though. Yes, considering his Muay Thai style, it allows Punk to use his legs, his weapons, as much as his arms. Yeah, but on the flip side, Alberto Del Rio is a mixed martial arts expert in his own right. Although, it doesn't look good for him right now, does it? I don't know how much... Uh-oh! And CM Punk nails it! He sees it! CM Punk is getting ready here. And there's the go to sleep! Knee to the temple! Kick out. And look at Paul Quick. He's got him. They had a con device locked in. Locked in on Del Rio. Del Rio, baby. His, look at this. Del Rio tapping out. We got a new champion. Oh my God. 
CM Punk has won! What a moment! Oh, oh man! The WWE Championship just being handed to CM Punk! Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, CM Punk! And now the celebration! You're right about that, Punk sharing it with his fans! What an incredible moment.